Get ready for a front row seat to the world of cinema. This is FK Bytes YouTube channel, your destination for thoughtful movie analysis and passionate reviews. Join us as we explore the magic that unfolds in every frame. The erotic romantic drama film Fifty Shades of Grey, which was written by Kelly Marcel and directed by Sam Taylor Johnson, was released in 2015. Jennifer Ely, Jamie Dornan, Dakota Johnson, and Marcia Gay Harden are a few of the actors who star in the movie, which is based on E. L. James' 2011 novel of the same name. It is the first film in the series of Fifty Shades of Grey. In the narrative, a recent college graduate named Anastasia, Anna, Steele develops a sadomasochistic relationship with a Y. A young business magnate named Christian Gray, 21-year-old Anastasia, Anna, Steele is an English literature major at Washington State University's satellite campus near Vancouver, Washington. When her roommate, Kate Cavanaugh, becomes ill and is unable to interview Christian Gray, a 27-year-old billionaire entrepreneur, for the college newspaper, Anna agrees to take her place. At Christian's Seattle headquarters, she stumbles her way through the meeting. Christian, who is that year's WSU commencement speaker, takes an interest in her, soon after, he visits the hardware store where Anna works and offers to do a photo shoot to accompany the article she had interviewed him for, Christian invites Anna for coffee, but leaves abruptly after she confesses to being a romantic, saying he is not the man for her. He later sends her first edition copies of two Thomas Hardy novels, including Tess of the D'Urberville, as a gift, with a quote from the latter book about the dangers of relationships on an accompanying card. Anna and her friends celebrate graduation at a local bar. After drinking too much, she calls Christian, saying she is returning the books, and berating him for his behavior towards her. He goes to the bar to find her, arriving just as her photographer friend, Jose Rodriguez, attempts to kiss her against her will. Anna is suddenly sick. The next morning, she wakes up in Christian's hotel room. Relieved that they were not intimate, Anna and Christian begin seeing each other, though he insists that she sign a non-disclosure agreement preventing her from revealing details about their relationship. He explains that he engages in sexual bondage relationships, but only as defined in a contract between the participants, Anna reveals that she is a virgin. While considering the agreement and negotiating her own terms, and after visiting his playroom, a room stocked with a variety of BDSM toys, furniture and gear, she and Christian have conventional sex. The next morning, she meets Christian's adoptive mother, Grace, who unexpectedly arrives. Christian bestows a series of gifts and favors upon Anna, including a new car and a laptop. After she and Kate move to Seattle, she continues seeing him. During dinner at his parents' home, Anna suddenly mentions she is leaving the next day to visit her mother in Georgia. Later, Christian becomes frustrated when she says she wants more than the one-sided relationship he proposes. She is shocked when Christian shows up in Georgia, he takes her air gliding, and then returns to Seattle to tend to a business emergency. After returning home, Anna continues seeing Christian, who wants further sexual experimentation, she initially consents, but he remains emotionally distant, upsetting her. While still considering the contract, and in an effort to understand Christian's psychology, Anna asks him to demonstrate how he would punish her for rule-breaking. He whips her buttocks with a belt, making her count each strike out loud. Upset and disgusted, Anna leaves Christian, concluding that he is wrong for her and that his practices are deviant and excessive. Thank you for watch the full video, Join us for epic tales, intimate dramas, and thought-provoking masterpieces that resonate with our souls. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss an opportunity to dive into the captivating world of cinema.